per freaking perfect perfect per freaking fiction perfection yeah not the tongue twister <laughs> Hey Gems, it's girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a fashion to figure haul and it's been a while since I've done... No it hasn't. <laughs> I did one like a month and a half ago. <laughs> Never mind. Um, well I'm excited to show you today's pieces. I'm super stoked um, to see what we have here and I'm hoping that they all fit. But before we get started... Are you subscribed? Well then get to it now. Nah. You're holding out the video. Come on. Come on. Dang. Now let's get started. So first off, we have this sweater knit set here and it's super cute. I just wanna say the shorts fit exceptionally well and I love that for me. Um, baby, when I tell you the shorts is doing what they need to do, now, when I first pulled it out the packaging, I said, baby, where is the rest of the inseam? Because straight out the package, like, it's like this much material. I said, baby, my coochie finna be hanging out the sides of the shorts. But once I put it on, I was like, okay, we, we have a little bit of material here. We have a little something here. Y'all know I'm a material girl. So I did there. I like material on my shorts, honey, because I'm thighs be rubber dub dubbing and I don't have time for that, okay? So I'm glad we have a little bit of inseam, some inches grew, and I'm happy about it, okay? Um, so this is how it looks. I'm not in love with the sweater portion of it right here for the top. The fit is a little off on me. Um, it seems like a little loose. Mind you, I am wearing a bra, so I feel like without the bra, underneath it my girls would have been swinging out at the bottom because this part right here does not uh sit snugly against the skin so not in love with that um but 1000 percent here for the shorts now i feel like i can get away with the shorts but the shorts in the top is just too hot for that um for me in particular because yesterday i was out and about and i saw a group of guys wearing like long sleeve shirts and jackets. Very suspicious in this very hot Atlanta weather, okay? In these 90 degree streets. Baby, why is he wearing a jacket? Okay, I was confusion. I said, I don't understand what y'all on, okay? But for me, I need to be naked. So I need to find something else to wear this with. A cute like crop tank or something because sweater on sweater, it's not for me like i can do the shorts i think i can do the shorts i feel okay but the top is making me hot and i don't like that but it's cute though it's real cute it's a moment love to see it <laughs> next so next we have this dress with this cut out detailing in the midriff and while it's cute <laughs> i can't do this dress in the summertime I don't know about y'all, but I'm a sweater, okay? I'm a sweater, so I have to think about everything I wear when it comes to the heat, baby. Like, when I say I'm a sweater, go ahead and call me turtleneck, cause baby, I am a sweater. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I tucked up my bra um, to make space so you wouldn't see it through the back cue hole rings. Um, and this is what it's looking like. I feel like this is something you can wear to like a kickback, something in the house where you can control the temperature a little bit. Um, as far as me being outside and exposing myself to the elements in this dress, it's not for me. But for those of you that are more on the dryer side, if I'm the washer, you the dryer. If you're on the dryer side, then go ahead and wear this. I wish I had this in different colors. I feel like this in the black would have been a vibe okay chef's kiss um but this is super cute though when i saw this i was like oh my god it's giving vacation it's giving you know a hookah and tulum or something like i don't know <laughs> but that's the vibe i was getting from it and so you know i just might have to sweat my way to this dress baby i just might okay 
I just might have to do a little something. Do a little something, something. Do a little something, something. Do a little something, something. Do a little something. All right. But yeah, listen, fashion figure. I see what y'all doing. I see what y'all, oh, and the split. The split is on one side. Though I think I would have liked it if it was on both sides. And I don't say that often. Actually, I say that rarely. But I think I would have liked it if it was on both sides. But either way, it's cute. It's a moment. It's fire. But you definitely can't wear Spanx if you're like a full uh, mid-wrist Spanx kind of girl. Um, you have to be very careful about the undergarment to wear with this because, baby, it will expose you. It will expose you. Okay? Next. So, next we have this super cute top. And when I tell you, <laughs> I had to go look up my order to figure out how the heck I was supposed to put this top on. Because when you pull it out of the packaging, it's just a whole bunch of strings here and there. Material. I'm just like, what is going on? And when I put it on, I forgot that this is crisscross. So, I had a regular. And I was like, why the strap is so damn long and all of this and all of that. Talking all this mess. Baby, I looked at the picture and I was like, girl, you so slow. <laughs> So this is exactly how it's supposed to look. Um, I moved my bra down and I hid it underneath the girls. So this is what it looks like with no bra. And this is so cute. I think when I picked it out, um, I envisioned my wearing it without the sleeves, which I could still do. It wouldn't be anything for me to just snip them right off. But I'm just like, look, the, the sleeves are a vibe. Like, it's like sexy gothic or like sexy emo. And I'm like, I'm gonna appreciate these sleeves in the fall. So I'm like, what should I do? Like, maybe I can like tuck them in or something, or just like, I wish it would like Velcro sleeves so you can decide when you wanna wear them and when you don't. <laughs> Cause I'm like, how can I get away with wearing this? Like maybe if I tuck it inside the top, but I feel like it's gonna make it bulky. Like, is it bulky? I don't know. Cause I feel like I don't want the sleeves now, but I'm gonna want them in the fall. Like, not me liking the email look. I don't know. Something about it is, I, I don't know. I just like it. So, I think, yeah, I would figure out some way to, like, tuck it in somehow and not make it obvious and wear it like this for now. Because, maybe this needs to be worn. Like, or maybe I'll just have a seamstress at Velcro or something. Or, like, a no, no, too much. Girl, just tuck it in. Like, isn't this the cutest top? I love the crisscross effect. Like, isn't this cute? Ah! And then I picked out these pleather shorts. Now I have shorts that are similar to this in color from Target, but they're a little too big for me. So I was like, let me go ahead and try these out to see how they fit. And perfection, like per freaking, fec perfect, per freaking fection, perfection, yeah. Not the tongue twister, <laughs> but yeah, when I tell you, girl, this, this right here is a look with some cute black heels or black sneakers or black sandals, whatever, a cute bag. You can do a pop of color, a statement bag or a plain black bag or a Louis bag. Like there's so many different things that you can do to add on to this look. But baby, the, the, the basics though, the base of this, the foundation of this look is given, okay? It's given, okay? It's given, okay? I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. And right now I'm like, what if I cut off the sleeves and I just leave them separate and just put them on during the fall? Or am I doing too much? <laughs> but I'm so here for this. Isn't this cute? Ah! Love it. Love it. Love it. Like this top, like picture this. This top and these shorts. Hello. <laughs> Talk to me guys. Okay. Talk. To me nice talk to me nice talk to me nice and these shorts with like a white crop tank and a colorful kimono on top with a nice pop of color on the bag and some key sandals baby it's a vibe it's a mother freaking what vibe oh yes i love this okay oh i gotta see if they have more of these shorts in different colors no they do make noise nah they gonna hear you coming a mile away. But you're gonna look good when you finally show up though. And that's what matters most. 
But yeah, baby, did. you can't sneak up on nobody in this, okay? Ain't no sneaky link, no sneaky nothing. They gonna hear you coming, sis. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yes, look it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh, baby. Now, I have another pair of pants I'm gonna try on um, with this top. So we're gonna see if this fits. I think this is wide leg, straight leg. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna look on. I don't think it's gonna look good on me, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. So let's get it. So these slacks are part of the Gabby Fresh collection with Fashion and Figure. And these remind me of her pink ones, but the pink ones fit better if I am remembering correctly. Um, so the waist game, <laughs> listen, the statuation at the waist, she not playing with y'all. Okay, when I tell you that way, said I was over here like, okay, um, but something in this area. Well, you know, I would have to try it on with some spanks underneath to see if that would help it. Um, Cause maybe that's what it is. But in general, I don't feel that wide leg pants are the most flattering on me, in my opinion. Um, so that's really where I was like, I don't think it's gonna look good on me, but I figured I would try it for the gyms anyways, because baby, you never know. Now I do feel like this portion is a little bit too long on my body, but I really do love how it came in at the waist because I don't feel like there's gonna be any gap in or anything like that. But this, it's not really any give baby. So if your waist ain't, okay, if you can't, muster up that energy to get the snaps to close this might not be the one for you okay you might have to size up a little bit um but yeah what y'all think like the the pant concept is cute i'm just not in love with how it looks in my body but the length though hello y'all look oh, my tippy toes i'm five eight so if you add a good three inch heel, okay, it might scrape the ground. Just barely, just a whisper on the floor as you walk. <sighs> okay, period. Love the length, definitely tall girl friendly. Uh, love that for us, okay? Love that for us. I'm still obsessing over this top. I just wanna tell y'all right now, this top is doing a damn thing, all right? Next. So next we have this look here. And baby, let me tell you why reviews are so important. So whenever I purchase anything from Fashion to Figure, I get everything in a size three, right? Um, but the reviews are saying that this top runs really big, so you should size down. I'm like, mmm, size down. <laughs> Who, me? At Fashion to Figure? On the top? With no stretch? Baby, I'm gonna take y'all's advice, but we gonna see. And I'm so glad I did because this is a size two and it fits perfectly. Well, in terms of sizing, <laughs> now the top itself is not meant to be, not for me. And it's so unfortunate because it's such a gorgeous top. The sleeves, the color, the cut, y'all know I love, I stand an off the shoulder crop top. Now, baby, I thought this was gonna be the top of my dreams. I did. So it has this cute, sweetheart neckline situation here with the bow in the middle. It has a cutout for um, this little part right here. And the chest, and you know, when your girls sit up the way, you know, they supposed to, um, you can see cute stuff like that. But for me, it's a no. <laughs> it's a no. Um, for a cute picture or something, I could finesse it. But for me, walking around and actually moving in day-to-day -day life, some gonna fall out. Okay? Some gonna fall out and I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm gonna be thrown in prison for indecent exposure. Okay? Um, but like I said, sizing down was literally the best thing. Um, and it's such a beautiful top. So if you're small on the top or you're perkier, definitely make sure you size down and to enjoy this top for the both of us, baby, because I certainly cannot. So unfortunate. Like the color, this yellow, is yellow my new favorite color now? What is going on, baby? What is going on? But yeah, super cute top. If you can just like imagine like the vision. Having a girl sit up here, that's my bra, y'all don't, y'all know my business. Having a girl sit up and then a little uh, slit, slither of flesh 
before you get to this band right here. Super cute. Y'all, fashion figures getting it to the girls and I love it. I absolutely love it. Yums. Okay, I didn't fix the bag. <laughs> the bag looks a hot mess. The tag is all tangled up. Listen, leave me alone. Y'all see the box. Y'all see what it is. It's cute, period. Now the shorts, another piece from Gabby's collection. And I just want to say, let's take a second to look at the shorts. Let's take a second to look at how the shorts um, are designed. And let's also take a second to appreciate the fact that a plus size woman designed this and you know she did because she's giving you like booty cut short-ish situation but still giving you enough material in the thigh area for that, okay? Now a regular company, a regular brand would have designed these shorts and it would have been this length all across, okay? Coochie cutters. And for some of y'all, that's great, okay? But for people like me, who we can't be out in the streets with the coochie cutters on, and I'd be so jealous of y'all, but my HS and these thick thighs do not want me to be great, okay? So I need, I need that little bit of material. And I like that she gave me that material. But it's still giving the, uh, the, um, the vibes of coochie cutters, okay? It's like, if you stand in low, you might be able to see a chica song with the way it flares out. And how like, this is not, it's not like hard material, but it's not super soft either. Like it's pretty rigid. I don't know what is in here, but it's giving, in, but it's giving the short, the hem of the short structure. And that's what's helping it to like, kind of give it that flare look. And it's super cute because one of the design and the color. Baby Gabby is putting her foot on our necks, okay? And has been doing so for years. Get into it, honey. Get into it, honey. Get into it, honey. Get into it. Let me not move too much for someone come out this top now. <laughs> But yes, absolutely adore the shorts. I adore the top. I will, I'll wear the two together. I feel like this is such a cute festive look with like a pink or multicolored bag or something. I don't know. But I just, there's just so much I wanna do. Look, when I get some corn and I chop these idiots off, it's gonna be over for y'all for real. Like I be saying that and I feel like y'all not taking me seriously. Once I cut these idiots off, and my back stop hurting. <laughs> it's gonna be over for all of y'all, period. So next we have this cropped t-shirt. And in theory, it's super cute, but I think my back is eating up too much of the material. Um, that and like the beauty in the shirt is in the cutouts. So like there's a long slit here and there's a keyhole situation here. Um, and then it like curves, scoops out uh, into the back of the, the shirt. Now, as you can see with the bra, the shirt doesn't reach. Imagine without. <laughs> and I would say imagine it with the plunge bra, but the plunge. <sighs> um, the shirt is too small for me. I would feel comfortable in a shirt like this if it was like a 5X, personally. Um, just because between the back and the front, they both take up space, okay? Uh, once again, I'm a material girl. I need more material. <laughs> but it is a super cute concept and I can absolutely see somebody who's smaller on top rocking this. Um, a little cleavage, like just a peak. Or you could wear a bra like this, just have it covered, like whatever you like. Um, but the fun of the shirt is in the cutout. Like this cute cute hole here, um, which you can't really notice, like, this has so much potential to be a vibe, but it's just not a vibe on me. Okay, now look at that, look at that. But on a positive note, we do have these shorts here and I just wanted some plain black shorts. Um, these are not as compressing and sculpting as my Lane Bryant ones, um, but these are pretty good and I would absolutely wear these out with a cute crop tank, a cute t-shirt, sneakers, some sandals, whatever the case may be. Very comfortable. Now I bought this in two sizes. I bought it in a three and a two. I have the three on right now and it fits perfectly. So the two is a no-go for me. Definitely should stick with a three. Um, but I love how it fits. I love the length of it. I love the height of it. It does cover the shelf. 
Okay, the girl is uh, protected and covered. Um, and we love to see it. We love to see it. Yeah, the shirt is a flop, but the shorts are a win. Love that. So next, both of these pieces are from the Gabby Fresh collection. Again, this uh, bandeau crop top is super cute. It does have that rubberized silicone um, material across the bust line here to hold on to your skin. Um, hmm. It is a little here, but lots of give right here. <sighs> I am finding that with the bandeau tops at Fashion Figure, either the top portion or the bottom portion is usually on the looser side, um, which is kind of interesting when you're trying to like size yourself. Um, but despite that, the tops still fit pretty well. I still feel secure. I will still wear them out. I love, 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 love the wide banding at the bottom. Once again, I like for the bottom to be snug on the skin, baby. Protect me. Protect me, I don't want girls flying out nowhere. Protect me, please. And this beautiful lilac, lavender color, like it's giving, and then it's like poofy. Hello, hello. <laughs> and now we have this skirt right here. And when I saw this skirt, I was like, baby, it's giving vacation. It's giving, ah, it's giving everything. Now, normally I don't go for skirts like this because I don't like how pencil skirts look on my body, um, mainly because there's like a portion of um, my booty that's a little flat, flat. And when I wear a pencil skirt, it kind of just like, whoop, <laughs> goes straight down. Um, I'm built a little weird. Give a SpongeBob like she thick, but she flat at the same time, okay? Y'all in my business, okay? Don't worry about it, I said what I said. But I feel like well, this skirt is y'all doing that. It is. Look, y'all would not know I was caked up by this skirt. But I feel like if I just safety pin it a little like higher up right here, that'll bring in the shape a little bit more. And once that's higher up, you know, just pull this down a little extra and boom, just, just a little, a little more shape, okay? A little more something. And I, I need that something. I need it, or else I'm looking like somebody granny, looking like somebody auntie, and not in a good way, okay? <sighs> like, I'm trying to give thought. I'm not trying to give um, PTA a uh, pastor's wife, uh, okay? I'm trying to give streets. Now, I feel like this is giving me vacation vibes. Like, this is a cute little top, a skimpy top, a cute little sandal, a mule sandal. Um, maybe a straw bag. Hello, are you seeing the vibes? Are you sensing the vibes? Like I feel like that's what I feel like this is what I feel like that is what the skirt is giving. Um, so I would have to play around with it to make it work for how I like it. But overall, it is a beautiful skirt. It does not have stretch. It is more of a linen material. I don't know if it's actually linen or linen like. But either way, no stretch. And then when I say linen, you get the vibes already. So make sure you pack that steamer with you. Pack that iron. Pack that uh, Niagara. <laughs> What's that star spray? Baby, that star spray will get your clothes right. Okay? Um, but yeah, so between that and the fringe, like, ugh. And the color. Gabby is giving us all kinds of color with this collection. And I'm here for it. Like, this fringe is absolutely delicious. This fringe is delicious and she's thick, she's healthy, she's nourished, okay, she's not starving. Some of y'all fringe be looking like it's been on a diet for 3.6 years. Let the Atkins diet go, let it go, and give her a, a balanced meal, okay? Give her some good uh, complex carbs, because this is what it looks like when you eat it right. You live it right, okay? Y'all see this fringe? Healthy, shiny, glossy. Your weave could never. <laughs> next. So next, I have this super springy, flowy, billowy, um, off the shoulder top. And when I tell you, it's so lightweight and breathable. Like, I feel like a delicate flower floating in the wind, just like a dandelion. One of those flowers where like you can like blow it and like the little uh, thingies fly away. That's how I feel. I feel like this will transition very well into summer. 
being that it is so lightweight and breathable um it's very thin though so i feel okay wearing it like this but if you do want more security or you just want to be more covered uh you could definitely wear a bandeau top underneath it just to you know give you a little bit more coverage because i feel like if you sweat through this it's gonna give you like naked uh t-shirt contest and i don't know if you're about that or not i particularly don't mind <laughs> i don't mind the silhouette of the chesticle showing you know but overall this is super cute super super cute now these jeans baby <laughs> so cute in theory now i actually ordered these a while ago and i had gotten them in size 28 26 i sized up because the model that they use licence um in the description said that she sized up to get that baggy look and so the size that i got was actually way too big so i said let me just get my regular size and we'll see baby this 24 is tight af but that's because there's no stretch in these jeans um so i'm like debating like what what should i do should i reorder it up in a size up because i feel like i got it in a 28 maybe i should have gotten it in a 26 and then had them tailor it to my body or maybe the 26 might fit perfect but y'all the 28 was so big like way bigger than enough I expected it to be and like the 24 is too small now y'all when i tell y'all it took a hope and a prayer to close these jeans like they're closed and they probably don't look bad on camera but i feel very compressed and tight and uncomfortable um these aren't the worst jeans i've tried on like i feel like i'm breathing pretty okay but sitting down absolutely not <laughs> if i have to sit down it's a wrap it's a wrap um but yeah so despite that there is gapping and these pants do go up pretty high i feel like if it was like folded over like that like that would be more of a vibe but i really love the rip the rotation the uh, distress uh situation of it all i'm really over here trying to roll these <laughs> roll this uh Ooh, y'all, how are y'all wearing jeans with no stretch? Like, uh, I feel like y'all gotta be superhuman to pull that off and like wear it out, out. I can't even wear it for a video. Jeez, but these jeans are so cute. See, automatically, I feel like that looks so much better. Ooh, ooh, not the waist beads getting stuck. But yeah, I feel like that already looks better. Um still can't sit wow my thigh meat is like oh it feels like something that on camera but my thigh meat was pressing out the front of these jeans chat but yeah so i don't know i might just keep the 28 one that i have and um take it to a seamstress and have her work some kind of magic or maybe i just give it up on these jeans I don't know but the next part i'm going to show you you guys have actually already seen um they're like the, the black distress jeans that i wore with my haitian made t-shirt now i size up with that pair too the body of the jeans the bagginess is perfection but the top is just a little bit too big and i got that in a 26 so i reordered it again in a 24 so we're gonna see if that's a tight fit as well and i think that'll help me to gauge my sizing in jeans when it comes to uh fashion a figure now i have jeans from them already but they were stretchy and they were skinny jeans so you know the tighter the better and i got those in my regular size i believe so we're gonna see how the baggier jeans fit but yeah super 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 cute oh, long tall girl friendly cute slit at the end but um yeah i can't breathe <laughs> I cannot breathe. So let me try on a black one and we'll see. Okay, yes. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Now, this top does not look cute with these jeans. So just imagine. <laughs> these jeans are so freaking fire. Now, these do have stretch. And I feel like that's why the 24 fits me so well. Like if the blue jeans have stretch, baby. <laughs> 
But these are my absolute favorite because not only does it have a distressed situation, but baby, the fringe. And I'm so glad that the 24 fits me so well, y'all. It fits me perfectly. I didn't show y'all the details of the, uh, the first pair, but when I see how this fits perfectly and covers the shelf, <gasps> baby, do I have to wear these this weekend? Like, do I need to be outside in these jeans? I feel like I do. I feel like I do. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. The inner high school student in me is screaming, gagging, throwing up, weeping with joy. Um, that finally had me some fly AF distressed jeans, y'all. Like I was never the cool kid. Like I couldn't be. I was 12, 14 shopping at Ashley Stewart. And baby, listen, their wardrobe has not changed much over the year. Over the years. <laughs> like, okay, when I tell you auntie, like, actually caters to aunties in their 40s. Like, I cannot be 14 dressed like I'm 40. Um, so like something like this, I would have died for it, died for it. And I'm finally 31, living my best dreams, okay? Living my best life. Oh my god, I'm gonna change this top just so I can like give you better vibes. Let me try something else on. Hold on. Um, I'm only gonna stand here for like 30 seconds to show you this top because I literally cannot move. One day I'm gonna learn to stop buying these little baby AF tops because they are not meant for me. Um it's like a satin situation, so that's why it moves a lot and exposes a lot but baby if you're like i said if you're perkier or if your girls stay in one place for the most part you could try it out as for me and mine yeah this ain't it <laughs> um editing jimmy my here baby why was i looking through the footage and getting ready to upload everything to my computer gathering the photos and stuff and i realized i'm wearing this shirt backwards <laughs> I'm crying, oh my gosh. And so I put it on the right way. And while it still doesn't fit me exactly how I want it to, let me not, I'm not wearing nothing on the bottom. So I don't want to scar y'all. But, um. <laughs> Why did I put it on like that? Yo, that's wild. Wow, but this is what it looks like. I'm trying to give y'all a decent angle. But, um. <laughs> I cannot believe I had it on backwards. Like, oh my God. Um, yeah, I kind of wish it was more length um, for the shoulder strap area. And I did uh, adjust the straps to the maximum capacity, but I just need like an extra two inches um, because my UDs are hanging out from the bottom. I keep trying to pull it down, but like I said, because of this material, it moves around a lot. And it's not gonna actually stay down, but it is cute top though. Okay, see, this is a really cute top. <laughs> I'm crying because I was looking at the photos and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I didn't hold that top. <gasps> I'm dead. Wow, that's embarrassing, but very on brand for me. So there's that. <gasps> back to the uh, video. <laughs> okay, after this top back on, just because. It was the easiest and it's cute. So yeah, it's still not the top I'll wear with these jeans. So I guess that kind of defeats the purpose. So I might as well just get to the next part and show you all that. So last but not least, we have this denim Bermuda short and it actually fits surprisingly well. Um, Fashion and Figure sent me a pair of black denim shorts before and they were in my correct size, but you know what? I think it's a black thing. Like black denim just fits smaller for some reason. And I feel like somebody explained it to me in a comments of a video before, like maybe the coloring or the way it's processed is why it fits a little tighter. Cause the black shorts did not fit baby like, <laughs> but these fit perfect. Like the only thing about it is that it doesn't cover all of the shelf, but I feel like with a top like this, it would be fine. Cause it kind of droops on the back anyways. But yeah, I feel like this is very comfortable. Like when I feel like, when I tell you it feels like I'm wearing nothing, it's very lightweight and very comfortable and very stretchy. I like it. This is perfect for like beach weather. Um, wearing this over a bikini, a bathing suit, 
or just a frolic about like i really like this okay so like i said they did send me a pair of black shorts before um they didn't know this but i already had the black shorts in my order so i have two pairs of black shorts that don't fit me because <laughs> i got the same exact kind and the same size but they're super cute i kind of want to try them again because what if i just think they're the same and they're not like what if i'm just envisioning things I feel like this kind of looks different. Let me just try this on. Yeah, this is definitely a different pair. I think this is the same one as the shorts I just tried on, but in the color black, because the same composition, the same feel, the same, the same stretch, the same vibes, honey. And the other pair, while they were super cute, the stretch factor was nowhere near this. So yeah, I feel like, Loki, this fits the shelf even a little better. Or am I imagining things? I don't know, but I'll be here for it. Yes! Overall, even though all the pieces don't fit my particular body type or my, um, just the way I want clothes to fit me, the actual pieces themselves are super, super cute. Um, I really like where Fashion Figure is going. I feel like they offer such beautiful, trendy pieces. Um, it's just a matter of finding what works for you, what works best for your body type. And that's why videos like this are super important to help you gauge, you know, what can I play around with? What can I finesse? What can I get away with? What can I do here, 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 and here? So yeah, I was trying to live my best crow top, off the shoulder uh, dream of this haul. And most of it was a, 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 a win, okay? There were a couple flops, most of them were a win. And overall, I'm just very happy with this haul. I feel like I had some really cute pieces for the summer. And I don't know, you guys should definitely check them out. I know they just came out with a, a collection with um, Gabrielle Union. So there's some things on the website for y'all to check out and, and see for yourself. Okay, whether you wanna live a hot girl summer or an auntie summer, they have options for the both of us. And I appreciate that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the pieces that I picked out. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Toodles.